Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your Excel chart just don't update with new data? No matter what you try, well, I have got the right solution for you. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Robra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to update Excel chart with new data. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Look at the monthly sales data of three stores and the corresponding chart. It's a 100% stacked chart of the data. The problem is, if you add new data to the existing data range, the chart will not update automatically. So, let's get the solution of this problem. Before exploring the solution, let's check one thing. We'll verify if the calculation option is set to automatic. Go to the Formulas tab in the Calculation group, click on Calculation Options. Check if the automatic option is selected, if not, then select it. Otherwise, each time you have to press the F9 key to apply the changes. Our first solution involves converting your data into a table. If you do that, Excel will automatically update the chart whenever you add new data. First, select your entire data set. Also, you can select any cell inside the data range. Go to the Insert tab on the Excel ribbon. Click on the Table button on the Tables group. Alternatively, press Ctrl plus T as the keyboard shortcut and the Create Table window will pop up. You can see that our dataset cell range is automatically selected in the box. Make sure to check the box labeled My Table Has Headers and press OK. And just like that, your data is now a table, ready for updates. Now, watch the magic happen. Add a new row of your data and input values. And see, Excel is automatically updating the chart. For the users of earlier versions like Excel 2003, let's move on to solution number 2. Here, we'll set dynamic formulas to enable Excel chart updates with new data. First, we need to define names for each data column and set dynamic formulas. Let's go through the steps. Go to the formulas tab. In the defined names group, click on define name. In the new name window, type the header name for the first data column month. In the name box, choose the current worksheet as the scope. In our case, it's the dynamic formula worksheet. In the refers to box, let's put an equal sign first. Then, I'll use the offset function. In the first argument, select cell B5, which is the starting cell of the month column. If your data starts from cell A2, type A2 instead of B5. For the next two arguments, I'll put zeros. In the fourth argument, write the counter function. Then select column B, close the bracket, put minus 1. Close the bracket again. Now, let's explain the formula. Here, the offset function returns the reference to a range that is a specified number of rows and columns from a starting reference point. Here, the starting reference point is cell B5. The second two arguments of the offset function represent the number of rows and columns to move from the starting reference. In this case, both are zeros, which means the formula will refer to the same cell B5 as the starting point. In the fourth argument of the offset function specifies the height which means the number of rows for the range to return. It uses the counter function to count the number of non-empty cells in column B and then subtracts one from the count. Putting it all together, the formula creates a dynamic range starting from cell B5 and extends down based on the number of non-empty cells in column B excluding cell B5. Now, press OK. Now, I'll repeat all these steps for the next three data columns and name them as store1, store2 and store3. For store1, again click on define name. In the name box, write store1. While defining names, put an underscore instead of space in the names. Excel name manager doesn't support space in defined names. Choose 
dynamic formula worksheet as a scope in the refers to box paste the following formula basically it's the same formula as above i just change the reference cell from b5 to c5 which is the store one's january sales figure and change column b to column c click ok for store 2 click on define name again write store 2 in the name box select dynamic formula as a scope and paste the following formula in the refers to box here the reference cell is d5 and the column is d and click ok for store 3 click on define name in the name box write store 3 select dynamic formula as a scope in the refers to box paste the following formula for store 3 it's e5 and column e and click ok click on name manager in the defined names group we can check all the defined names here also we can edit any particular named range just select it and click on the edit button also you can delete any named range by selecting it and clicking on the delete button now that our dynamic formulas are set it's time to update the chart right click on the chart area and click on select data on the context menu the select data source window will appear look at the legend entry series section select the first entry and click on edit button will change the series values with the corresponding defined name write dynamic formula store 1 in the series values box and click ok similarly repeat those for store 2 and store 3 go to the horizontal category access levels section and click on the edit button the access levels window will appear replace the cell ranges with the defined name for them here we'll type month then press ok twice to close the window now add a new row with data and see the result our chart is updated automatically with new data that wraps up our tutorial on fixing excel charts here we have demonstrated two useful solutions to this problem so you can stay on top of your data visualizations download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com if you like this video consider subscribing and click the bell icon thanks for watching